So the other day I was on the Sephora website, I was browsing the gift page where it has all of those value sets and something wasn't quite sitting right with me with some of these gift sets. The values seemed really overinflated and not quite right. So I thought it would be fun to kind of check them out a little bit closer. I have a random sampling of some gift sets that I wanted to show you. And if you'd like to see a part two to this video because there are so many more on their site, definitely let me know in the comments. So let's go ahead and start with the one that actually kicked off the idea for this video and that is the Tarte Gilded Glamour Palette. So I'm actually just going to scoot over a little bit and that way I have some room to put the pictures. So the Tarte Gilded Glamour set is one that I was just looking at very recently because I talked about it in my last video. So I was pulling up the link and getting it ready for the description box and I noticed that it said that it was $54 but that it's a $252 value. So I'm looking at it and it's just too two palettes and I'm thinking that basically means that Tarte is saying that each palette is worth $126. It seemed like a lot to me. It didn't really make a whole lot of sense. So I crunched some numbers and each palette has 15.3 grams of eyeshadow in it for a total of 30.6 grams. Their Man Eater After Dark palette is $52 for 24 grams. So you're getting six grams less in the Man Eater palette than you are if you buy this set of two. But is it $200? dollars more eyeshadow than the Man Eater After Dark palette? No. Is it a different formula? No. I feel like Tarte is basically trying to act like they are Pat McGrath and to be honest with you, I don't even think that her eyeshadows are worth the $129 price tag. So that just seemed like a really strange value to put on a set like this. To be honest with you, I think $54 is a perfectly reasonable fair price for this set because it's a similar amount of product to the Man Eater After Dark palette, maybe just a little more than that, and it's $2 more. So I think what they're charging is probably a little closer to the actual value of the set. Another set that I kind of felt like didn't make sense is the Precious Gems blush palette from Tarte. This is $39 and you get five blushes and one bronzer. So I kind of had to break those out because the blushes are a slightly different price than the bronzers are. So the blushes in this palette are 1.5 grams each. One of their full size blushes is 5.6 grams and it's $29. So each little one works out to about $7.77 each. The full size bronzer is nine grams for $30. So so the 1.5 gram bronzer is about $5. So altogether, I worked out that there's about $43 worth of powder in this compact. And on the Sephora website, they're saying that it has a $90 value, which I think is just outrageous for a little blush palette. The numbers just do not work out. So next, I wanted to check out another one from Tarte. This is the Maracuja Juicy Squad Lip Set. It's $39, and they're saying that this was an $84 value. This one was actually pretty easy because they're all full-size products. Each one retails for $21, so I just had to multiply that by four, and it does actually work out to $84. So this one really does work out according to my calculations and it's a great deal because it's $39 for four lip products and you're paying for basically a little less than the cost of two. So this one is a good deal. Um, next we have the Rare Beauty blush set. It's $30. They're claiming that it's a $40 value and it has one full size blush and two minis and the two minis basically add up to about another full size blush. So it's like getting two full size blushes and their blushes retail for $20 each. So $40 is definitely the correct value for this set. And I think it's a great deal because you're saving $10, but you get to try three different blush shades instead of two. And those minis will probably last you a really long time. If you haven't tried the Rare Beauty blushes, you need only the tiniest little dot on your cheek. They're super pigmented. So I think this one is definitely a really good deal. Next up from Milk Makeup, we have the Starter Pack set. It's $28. It claims to have a $70 value. So I wanted to add up all of these products and this was actually pretty easy because a lot of these are sold as minis already. So again, I didn't really have to work out how much was in each one. So this includes the bronzer stick, which retails for $22. That's the full size. 
a mini rise mascara, which is about 1050. It's actually a mini, not the travel size that retails for 14. So I actually did have to figure this one out a little bit, but I estimated about 1050. Also the set and refresh spray mini is $21 and the smaller hydro grip primer is 18. So this actually, in my calculation worked out to be 71.50 and they're putting it at a $70 value. So I actually think this one is another really good set if you wanna try some things from Milk Makeup. It'll cost you way less at $28 than buying all of those products individually. Also from Milk Makeup is the Lip and Cheek Champions Cream Blush Stick Set. It's $40, they claim that it has a $110 value. And this one is actually spot on. All of these blush sticks are full size, they cost $22 each and you're at your $110 value. So this one also completely works out and I think it's an awesome deal if you have been wanting to try out their blush sticks. All right, so let's move on to Too Faced. Here we have the Yummy Gummy Makeup Set. It's $42 and they're claiming this is a $122 value. So in this set, just to put it in perspective, you're getting an eyeshadow palette that has eight eyeshadows and a blush and then you're getting a lip injection lip balm that's not even quite their full size and a little bag. So let's break this one down. We have the lip injection lip balm at six milliliters. The full size is seven milliliters and it costs $26. So even if we pretend it's just $26, it's pretty close. Then we have the palette, which has eight eyeshadows and one blush. It's 9.5 grams total. Now their full size palettes like this one are 19 grams of eyeshadow. So that's exactly double what's in this holiday one and it's $54 for the bigger palette. So if you basically cut that in half, I'm estimating this palette in the travel set to be about $27 worth of eyeshadow. So right now we have a $27 palette, a $26 lip balm that adds up to 53. So is the little bag that comes with it worth $70? Is it like a designer bag? I don't know, like I'm not really getting where they get $122 value you from it just makes no sense even if I wanted to say this little palette is worth $54 like they're bigger palettes that have double the eyeshadow in them plus the lip injection that's still only $80 so where they're getting this $122 value from I have no idea the next one is even more ludicrous <laughs> uh, this is the Christmas Bake Shop makeup set from Too Faced it's $54 and they're claiming a $309 value so in this set you get three palettes palettes and a mini better than sex mascara that retails for $14. So I didn't even bother to do the math on this one because if you're at a $309 value and you take away the $14 mascara, you're at still almost $300 for three palettes. So again, they're saying that these palettes are each worth almost $100. It's Too Faced, not Pat McGrath, and these are their holiday palettes, which historically have not even been up to the standard of their normal formula. So whoever's coming up with this value, I would love to hear why this set is worth $309. Somebody needs to explain this to me. The next set that I found is from Merit. This is their Flush Bomb Cream Blush Trio set. It's $39 and they're claiming a $63 value. So this comes with three little mini blushes that are 4.5 grams each. Their regular size is nine grams. So these little mini 4.5 grams are basically a half size. And since they sell the nine gram one for 28, I worked it out that each one of these minis is worth 14 or half of the price. So I estimated the total value of this set to be $42, which would be 14 times three. And it's not the $63 that they claim. So again, I'm not quite sure who's doing the math on this or how they're arriving at that number. But like I said, they're giving you three half size blushes or basically one and a half of the full size product. And that retails for $28. So one and a half is not gonna get you to 63. It just doesn't make sense. Moving on, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Beauty Highlighter Wand Duo Set. It's $32 and it didn't have a value stated, but that kind of made me curious too, because 
because I thought, why are they not showing the value? So I just, out of curiosity, wanted to see what this one was. So this contains two light wands. You get the Pinkgasm blush, and then you get the Spotlight highlighter. I love both of these, and I think that the set really appealed to me. So I was really curious to see how much you're saving on the set, if anything. So each of these minis is five milliliters, and the full size is 12. So basically these two minis put together are 10 milliliters versus 12 in the full size. And the full size one will run you $40. So you're getting a little bit less in this set. And I worked it out to be about a total of $33.30 for both of these. So it costs 32. So there's a savings of about $1.30 here, but they're charging relatively what these two are actually worth product wise. So there's not really any savings there, but you're getting close to the same amount of product as one, but you get to try two different versions instead of just one color. So I think there is some some benefit to that, especially if it's something that you've been wanting to try for a while. You're not losing money on it. It's not a bad deal. I just don't think it's a value set because you're basically paying about what it's worth. Let's talk about the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb set. So this is the Glossy Posse Volume 5.0 Lip Gloss Bomb Trio. It's $38 and they're claiming it's a $65 value. So all three of these are actually the full sizes and the Gloss Bomb Cream is 21. The Gloss Bomb Heat retails for 24. The original Gloss Bomb is 20. So it actually has a spot on $65 value exactly like they claimed. And I think this again is a really good deal if you've been wanting to try the Gloss Bombs. $38 for 65 worth of product is definitely worth it for me. The next one is from LYS Beauty. This one actually jumped out at me because I love the one blush that I have from them and I've been meaning to try more. This set has three of them and th all three are ones that I don't have. So it's $20 and they claim that it has a $30 value. So the original is a 6.5 gram product for $16 and then you get three four gram blushes in this set for 20. So each blush that you're getting in the set is a little bit more than half of the original size. So I think they're pretty decent sizes. And when I worked out how much each one would cost based on the product that's in them, they're worth about $10 each. So times three is 30. And that is exactly what they say that the set is worth. So again, I think this is a really good deal. You're saving $10 and you're getting to try out three different shades. So I definitely am thinking about picking this one up. And then the last one I found also didn't seem to add up for me. So this is the Buxom Main Event Plumping Lip Gloss Set. It's $45 and they claim that it has a $91 value. So in the set, you get a full size plump shot lip serum, which the retail value is $26. And then you get five mini lip glosses, which are two milliliters each. The full size is about four milliliters each. So these are half sizes again. The full size one costs $23. So these are worth about $11.50 each. So when I added everything up, it came out to a total value of $83.50. So it's less than the $91 value that they're claiming that this has. And actually it's a little bit less than that. I was pretty generous on the value of the smaller lip glosses, the half size ones, because they're even a little bit less than half. The full sizes are 4.4 milliliters and the minis are 2.07 so I figured it was close enough and I just figured okay like they're about half but really they're less than that so the value of 83.50 I'm giving this set is actually a little bit high it might be a couple of dollars less than that so I think the moral of the story here is that you can't always go by the value that these brands are claiming on the Sephora website yes it's possible my calculations were wrong but I did have my husband check a couple of them especially some that were a little bit more tricky and I did not have a lot of sleep. So I was kind of like questioning whether my math was right or not, but he came up with the same numbers I did and he's way more of a math genius than I am. So I think they're right. Of course, feel free to double check me, but I think in a lot of these cases, they were either spot on or pretty close, but then there are other examples like Tarte and Too Faced that I think they're just completely overinflating. Even if my math is wrong, I still don't see how these add up to that value. So I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Do 
you ever put stock in the actual value that they're showing on the website or do you not pay attention to that? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I just wanna thank you guys for clicking on this video, for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it so much. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I talk about a lot of drugstore makeup, dupes, and saving money on makeup with a little bit of high-end stuff sprinkled in. Plus I am unsponsored, so you won't see any sponsored content on this channel. So if that interests you, I hope you'll consider clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys, bye.